Hey Sagittarius. So we are going to be looking into the truth and whatever love dynamic you are dealing with within this month. I do hope that this is, um, I hope it resonates. That's what I was trying to say. I hope that it resonates. However, it is general, so it may or may not. I do advise you to check your big three as well as your Venus sign since this is a love reading. And if you would like a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in the description box below. Okay. Um, I also want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed and for those of you who will decide to subscribe. It really means a lot. I appreciate it. Let's get right into it. So we have the Six of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. We have the... Um, <clears throat> We have the Five of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Five of Wands in reverse. We have the Moon card in reverse with the High Priestess in the reverse. We have the Ace of Cups and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so Sagittarius, whoever this is, there's a lot of tension, okay? Y'all be arguing a lot. It's a lot of drama. I feel like it's, it's like... um. There's some communication issues, okay? And then underneath that is another issue. And I feel like um, already, it's just kind of like an energy of, um, oh, I just lost it. That ain't right. Just had a whole brain fart. I don't even know. We'll get into it. But we have um, cancer here twice. So you could be dealing with a cancer and that could be the issue because water and fire do not get along but you know you got a whole chart and everything so you, you know i oh sagittarius okay so i feel like i feel like whoever this is this is someone you have history with but I feel like you guys just recently reconnected after there being a lot of tension or like some sort of big thing between you and them. And I feel like that still needs to be worked on. Like, I feel like just because you guys have had space and time away from each other and cooled down does not mean that these issues have been um, fixed, basically, is, is what's T. What's the Ace of Swords with the Five of Swords in reverse? Okay, we got the lover's card with the ace of wands in reverse so now we have gemini what's this uh five of wands with the ten of swords in reverse that was too many cards just one or two please give me some clarity on this five of wands with the ten of swords please in reverse all right let's see we got the knight of pentacles hold on i'm gonna just clarify Couple of things real quick, and then we get right into it. What's the high priestess in reverse with the moon card? Oh, that was just too many. What's the okay? We got the devil card. Okay, Capricorn. Okay. So I feel like from your perspective, Sagittarius, you feel as though this is your soulmate. This is the person you're supposed to be with. This is the person that you want to be with. But there's just like a little bit of resistance as far as moving forward, trying to begin something new with this person just because of the feelings in the past. And I feel like you feel as though you should communicate that, but you don't really know how to communicate that. I feel like there's some fear within communicating that because of communication issues in the past. You may feel as though it may not, they might not receive what you're saying in the way that you mean it. Um, but little do you know, this person feels as though the connection between you and them should be pasted very slowly. Um, just because I feel like they are aware and they might even be more aware than you that the connection between you and them has been built on very toxic foundation, like codependency, projection, trauma bonding, things like that is what I mean. 
Um, and I feel like they're seeing their part in it and they're seeing your part in it and how it comes together and how it has negatively affected the relationship in the past. Between you and them. So I feel like their intentions is to move slow with you. Um, I think this is the hermit. I think that's or the higher fit. Okay, higher fit. Now we have Taurus. So yeah, I feel like they do want to be in a commitment with you. They do want to move forward with you and make this relationship better um, between you and them. But yeah, they're just aware that there's some toxicities in this connection, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like ultimately, um, in order for this situation, I feel like this, this situation can be really good. I feel like you and this person, because of the love that you have for each other, as well as the awareness that a lot of the issues have come from like deep rooted interpersonal issues that bounce off of each other. Like, um, I feel like because you guys have the awareness and the love, as long as there's a working on letting those things go, letting those triggers, letting those foundational traumas um, go or just transmuting it or changing your perspective on it, um, different things like that. Like as long as you both um, work on yourselves um, and let go of what is not working or what is negatively affecting the relationship between you and them, I feel like this could be a really good thing for you too. I also feel like with the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, it's important that when you feel as though those triggers or those toxic energies are coming back up because they are going to come up um just to give you an opportunity to change them to transmute them to um move them into something new that's going to be more beneficial for you for them and for the relationship um it's important when those things come up to give yourself space to really process it because in the moment when emotions are involved it's really easy to project um, or see things um, from within that emotion and not like from a bigger spectrum. So if tension rises, um, different things like that, it's important that you two take like a step back, give yourself space, feel how you feel, talk yourself through it and be like, oh, it's so fucking dumb, blah, 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 you know? And then based off of that, like once you calm down after talking yourself through it, then you can see it from a bigger picture and then you'll be like, all right, well, I didn't have to do things this way or that way. And then you guys can come back together and communicate that and that'll be very beneficial for the connection, okay? I shouldn't have did all that cussing. I apologize. And if you would like a personal reading, all of that information will be in the box below. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.